Some people believe in you, but some people are like, oh, they can have a cupcake store, you know? Like, oh, those are cute. They look like they could be in a magazine. I'm like, they are in a magazine. Actually, you want to see it? When they were little, we always were doing little crafts. That, that was what we did for fun. That's what they invited their friends over to bake. My mom taught Lauren and I, you know, baking from a very early age. So even back in elementary school, we were always in the kitchen making different things. Our entire lives we've spent so much time together. It's like today Chris and I both showed up to work in the same shirt and the same cardigan and I'm like we'll get out of the car anywhere and we're like why are you wearing the same outfit as me? Through high school I was still doing that and we had so many baked goods sitting around that we didn't know what to do with and my mom would take them to her friends and stuff and they were like, why don't you guys start selling them? And then Lauren came home from UD and we're like, okay, we're gonna do this. Without my mom, we wouldn't have taken a step towards this and actually having a bakery. It started out like at home, such a small thing, you know? One thing that I would say we've all sacrificed is time. Um, having the ability to have a two-day weekend, go home and not think about work for that amount of time. I love it, but I also like it's a lot, so. Sometimes we get overwhelmed and stuff, but that's when it comes in handy that there's three of us. It's just that your life becomes really centered around your business. And for me, I guess it's not so bad because it's my family and my business. It's all kind of intertwined. Even though this business takes up a lot of our time, it's also kind of like being your own boss. You know, we don't have to answer to someone else. We can try new things whenever we want. We can always feel like we can push new ideas. I've just loved watching them grow from just making a few cupcakes to understanding the business world. And there's no college education. There's nothing that could teach them everything that they've learned in this time period. The value of hard work, there's a lot of people that don't know that. Even if you don't own your own business, so much of your life is work and being able to actually enjoy work and want to put that extra time and effort into it is definitely worth it. I want my children to love what they do and if they don't love it then I want them to figure out what they love to do because life is short.